But your pretext is that Jesus was a vegetarian and might have been crucified because of his vegetarianism. I mean, on what possible planet do you base that on? The Passover meal, if you read in the scripture, it says nothing about him eating a lamb. It's not mentioned in the scripture. And in fact, what it does say is that he went to uh, join everyone for his last supper. And uh, Pierce, what was served at the last supper? Do you remember? Well, you, why don't you tell me what you think was served? Veggie burgers? Well, it says in the scripture, bread. Luke 24, 41 to 43, Jesus ate fish. Jesus also served fish to his followers, Matthew 14. And he caused the fishermen's nets to be filled on two different occasions, Luke 5 and John 21. The purpose of catching the fish was to sell them so they could be eaten. Jesus also cooked fish for his disciples, uh, John 21, 9. So he clearly ate a lot of fish. Well, I'll say this in the movie, we, we bring up the Gospel of the Ebionites, which scholars, there's a consensus that this was an original document, the original Hebrew document of the Gospel of Matthew that the Ebionite tribe used, the Ebionite movement. And these are the people that followed James the Just, Jesus's brother. And they have an original uh, statement from Jesus that says, he, I do not want to eat this Passover lamb with you. This is a, a document that we don't have anymore. Again, your peers uncensored. I would, I would suggest, and many scholars suggest, that this document was censored a long time ago, wow. 2,000 years ago. Conspiracy. So you want this to suit your narrative that we should all be vegans and vegetarians. And yet, by trying to pull Jesus Christ into this and twisting the actual words of Scripture from the Bible, I think you're doing yourselves a disservice. Yeah, here, here's something that suggests uh, uh, something worth considering, which mm -hmm. is that Jesus' own brother, James the Just, that everyone knows, in multiple historical documents, in the first paragraph that describes him, it describes that he never ate flesh. From the time of his birth, he never ate flesh. So this his is Jesus' brother, his own brother. So sorry, so just to be clear, his brother was oh. a vegetarian, you're saying. So if you guys had a movie and the pretext was I'm a murderer, and when I got you on to talk about where's your evidence, you went, well, your brother murdered someone. That's not great evidence. Well, it's not just it's not just James either. The forerunner of the movement, John the Baptist, was known in multiple historical sources to eat only plant-based foods. What's that going to do with also, Jesus? You're just naming this... other people. The whole movie is based on a completely spurious pretext for which you have zero evidence. You've done well, it to make money and to capitalize on the big Christian market. As a Christian myself, I find that quite offensive. As a Christian, was Jesus a sanctimonious hypocrite when he went into the temples and disrupted the entire animal sacrifice system because they were murdering animals in the temple? Absolutely not, because he wasn't preaching like you two do about being a vegetarian, because he wasn't a vegetarian. Are you both practicing vegans, or what are you? Yeah, uh, yes. Well, okay. I, one, I, of the, one, of the, one of the many things. So you're both, I am now just, because of what I learned. Okay, you're, bo yeah, you're both vegans. Okay, so do you eat avocados or almonds, or both? I do. I do enjoy avocados, and in fact, because okay, of the question okay. that you're asking, and, and, for and, many, many, for many years, I hand, I live in California. I handpick my own avocados because of the atrocities okay, that happen to okay, the bees that you're okay. going to mention. The reason yeah. I go on about this with vegans is vegans are the most self-righteous people on God's earth, and they don't like to be confronted with the reality that in the production of their favorite foodstuffs, billions, literally billions of bees, the little guys get exterminated. Billions. You are party to mass murder. Plant agriculture is not perfect, and it's because it's the no, agricultural system aren't has been perfect, dominated by... It's been dominated... Veganism no, it's isn't perfect. By you, animal, it's been dominated by... Yeah, but you see, this is the trouble. You no, no, make a whole listen. movie trying to prove something you can't prove about Jesus you're, being a you're, you're, vegetarian. Pierce, Pierce, and yet here Pierce, I have you, Pierce, you're doing what about, you, you're doing what about you need to yeah. watch the film you first off, film. and you'll see there's overwhelming evidence in there proving not just vegetarian of what he was about in the I movie. I just asked you to give me one and piece of. True. I just asked you to give me one bit of evidence which proves he was a vegetarian. You couldn't give me one. As a Christian, I forgive you both. <laughs> well, Pierce, Pierce, you're a very, very sweet guy, and Thank I actually you. honor that, and I, and I think you're an awesome person. I, I know you love your cats, and I think that it's in your heart. I know you're against factory farming, yet you still eat factory farmed animals. Why do you do that? I like meat. What can I tell you? And I'm not a hypocrite. I'm not a sanctimonious so, hypocrite. So, about, so, so, I'm not a sanctimonious hypocrite who preaches to people that you've got to leave animals alone, but quietly takes part, actively so, so, participates so in it, the mass slaughter of bees. So unfortunately, your attempt Pierce, to like br said, bring this, him into Pierce, your own Pierce, this, sanctity this film, and hypocrisy doesn't work. Pierce, this, this film goes 
Pierce, this film goes so much deeper than that. You're only scratching the surface. Guys, we're talking I've, about listen, a historical I've got a, event. Listen, where, uh, where Christ. Kip, Cameron, it's been it's been very interesting talking to you. You haven't persuaded me. But you need to watch the film. We're, you need we're to watch called, the film. We're called Uncensored. Well, if you watch the film, let's no, have listen, it again. I was about to give you a plug. People can watch it themselves. It's a free world. Yeah. Not, this show is called Uncensored. I've given you the platform. You've expressed yourselves forcefully. I disagree with your pretext completely. And I think there is a whiff of sanctimony and hypocrisy about the way that you take part in the slaughter of bees. But we will agree to disagree. And I wish you a very happy day. Pierce, one last thing. From the beginning of the Bible to the end, it's very, very clear. Genesis 1:29, God gave us plants to eat. In the future coming of the prophetic kingdom of heaven, the lion will lay with the lamb, and it's the same thing. We're right in the middle of that time, so you as a Christian should be able to ask these questions without shutting them down. I promise you it's not as hypocritical as you think. You know what? It's I'm a gonna, very, very good question to I ask. Will, and it goes so much deeper than whether or not Jesus was a vegetarian. I will watch my the, way home tonight, the film. On my way home be... tonight is I'm eating a Big Mac with large fries. I'll give it a thought. Guys, I've got to leave it there. After Thank you, you very watch much. After you the film, you might think twice. Kim, Kim Cameron, I appreciate you coming on. Thank you very much.